Hi, I'm Sandra from Poplar Branch Pottery, and today I'm going to demonstrate one of my most popular pottery pieces, and that is the sponge holder. Here you see one with a little bird in the nest. This one has the butterfly, and this one has the seashell. So first of all, I start off with a cylinder, and after it's dried a little bit, I will cut the slits in the side for the sponge. And then I will attach the seashell or the bird or the butterfly with slip. This is a sample of the sprig mold that I use for the butterfly. When doing the little bird, I just shape the clay into the little bird shape so that I get it to look like this. This one is ready to put on the edge of the cylinder. I scoop out a little section in the bottom so that it will sit nicely on the edge of the cylinder. And I form the little nest around it. After this is dried, then I will glaze it and I do a single firing. When I load my kiln, I preheat overnight on low. And then the next day, I turn it up every hour for nine hours. After the automatic uh, switch clicks, goes off, then it's time for me to just sit back and wait until the next day to unload my kiln and to see what I've come up with. Now, there's a couple of people I want to give a shout out to. First of all, Linda Clayton from Uptown Roxburgh Group. Uh, sent out information about various financial assistance programs, including the Visual Arts Exchange Program. I applied for that grant, not thinking that I would be able to get it, but I did. As a small business that had lost money during the COVID. Another shout out that I would like to give is to Scott King at the Small Business Center at PCC. Scott sent out information about a class that sounded very interesting called Creative Marketing for Artists, conducted by Dr. Barnsley Brown of Chapel Hill. I took this class and then afterwards I was also contacted by Scott about some additional consultation that we could receive. So again, working with Dr. Barnsley Brown I have started my Zoom meetings with her. I will have at least three sessions with her. And one of the things that she has challenged me to is a live video. And that's what I'm doing right now. This is one of the things that I do not feel comfortable doing, but it's a good start. And I hope to do many more of these. Thank you and goodbye.